Hello, my lovely people. Thank you for tuning in. And my name is Prithviraj Saminadhan. This is my second podcast. So what I'm going to talk about in this podcast is something really special. That is love. Yeah, say this word with me. Love. Love. <laughs> the magic word, love. Our world turns out to be colorful and full of uh, happiness or butterflies. Ya Rahman, Ya Raja. My friends, love is what we're going to talk about in this video. But sadly, if you see, not all love ends in marriage. So, the breakup of relationship has become all too common these days, especially in in our modern society, where dating has become a hobby. You ask someone, "Where is the true love?" And they say, "What true love? Where can I buy that?" <laughs> so, the reason why I made this video, let me tell you why I made this podcast. So, uh, a couple of uh, weeks before, I had a chance to speak to one of my friend in Mumbai. He uh, he was in relationship with the lady for almost 6 years and then recently they break up they break up the relationship for some odd reasons the lady has left this fellow and he was uh, he he's a medical practitioner but he said i'm really uh, depressed about this lady who left me and i need some help can you give me some advice and i spoke with another lady who is uh, residing in chennai and they uh, she was in relationship with a guy for almost 4 uh, years and she also said uh, you know what uh, prithvi I'm, i'm i'm totally depressed i don't know what to do this guy has left me and and this is happening most of, most of the people who i meet they say you know uh, this this is break up that break up so i thought okay let's make a podcast and tell people what do they feel about love and uh, this is all my own opinion and i'm going to share it with you okay and uh, so if you feel like this video can help somebody please consider sharing okay thank you so um if you see people may fall in love and out of love just easily when we uh, truly love somebody and that love is not reciprocated we may feel it's the uh, end of the world right we lose interest in our work or uh, we try to alienate ourselves from our friends or family and then we uh, try to sink into object depression right so um the first advice that i uh, the first question that i have it's not a advice first question that i have for the people who really got uh, you know break up or uh, who is trying to ask me give me some advice is this see you find someone you fall in love and then uh, you uh, suddenly ask give me some advice i'm going through some depression when you when you found this person who you want to fall in love did you ask the question to anybody like i find this guy or find this girl i found somebody really special i'm going to fall in love do you think uh, you would like uh, you know it's a good idea to fall in love <laughs> no right no we don't do that but only when we fall out of love or when we feel uh, that the person has left us we ask everybody give me some idea give me some tips i'm depressed i'm depressed i'm depressed so the question that i have is why are you asking everybody right okay okay you you can answer this question later sometime but the first advice that i have for people who are going through this pain of depression is uh, just go through it you should go through it feel that pain completely so as with any grief right the only way to survive breakup is to allow yourself to experience it uh, so ex- if you experience it fully in order for you to uh, get through it you will get through it on the other side so allowing yourself to grieve in that relationship uh, does not mean that you have to uh, swallow completely uh, that sadness and let yourself into despair no, no 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 that's not what i mean it means that you should accept the emotions and you have to uh, acknowledge the fact that it, it's logical and the pain and the anger that you feel is a part of the necessary uh, it's a necessary part of the uh, healing process that you're going through so um if you have see you have experienced a loss right somebody was with you now they are not with you so that loss you have so you can only move on by facing these emotions that comes with it you have to face it that's the first advice that i have second is to stop asking stupid questions yes stupid questions we keep asking why me how can he or she change uh, am i not good enough or these questions just kills our peace of mind i know it's it's very difficult to accept the reality 
with the person who you really trusted with all your secrets and feelings and emotions the only um the uh, one with whom you shared your worst and the best version is not with you anymore right they're not with you anymore so where do you want to beat yourself <laughs> just because someone has decided to move on without you damn it screw that so uh, all i'm trying to say that is um, with a little effort and little bit of time you can overcome your sadness and you can find love again yeah it's just like every physical injury that takes time to heal your heart also needs some time right so don't rush or, or don't feel uh, pity about yourself so have that patience and uh, start working on yourself all right so um okay i'm going to share some tips that can help you now that's the real uh, part of this podcast we're going to see how uh, we can motivate people who are really going through some uh, relationship problems okay before we uh, move on to say what we can do i'd like to highlight some points what we should not do right uh, we see a lot of uh, people saying that you should do that do this but there are a few few things that we should not do when you have this uh, relationship problems in your life let's let's talk about that first and the foremost thing is do not hit the gym this is for bo- boys as well as girls or man or woman no that's a wrong belief that uh, the end of relationship can be cured with uh, drastic proceedings and excessive outpouring of the emotions that'll never work out yeah that's true so the easiest way for you to overcome this relationship takes place through uh, the process that takes time and the little work on it so maybe this is uh, through the influence of movies that we see or uh, the people that we see in our, our social media we get to see that when i hit a gym or when i go to gym and build my body i'm going to come over this uh, problem or the pain that's not true that is never going to happen right and uh, so that's the first thing that you should never do don't go to the gym all right uh, but you can go in normal time you can exercise i i what i mean to say is don't pour all your emotions uh, your negative emotions into the gym right if you have any uh, ideas on that please let me know and the second most uh, thing that you should not do is to uh, not to take major decisions uh, i'm pretty sure you might have seen people who uh, are sad or people who have gone through something really bad try to take major decisions at this point of time what they do is they either say uh, i'm going to um, Uh, change my location they they don't want to be in this place where they uh, are where uh, they see the other person or they take some kind of major decisions that something that we should not do even there's a philosophy that says when you are uh, happy don't make promises when you're sad don't make uh, decisions so uh, that's a very good philosophy that you have to think about that you know, we should not take major decisions when you are sad or when you're having this kind of problems right don't make major decisions third is don't isolate yourself don't say i'm going to be alone you know when i'm really happy i have hundreds of people around me but i'm really sad and i don't want anybody else i want to isolate myself and we do that quite often don't do that go along with your friends and be around have your friends and your family around you all the time don't isolate yourself okay and don't listen to sad songs yeah you do it i did it. everybody do it listen to elia raja songs or ya ragman songs all the sad songs music right music literally amplifies your emotions so if you are happy and you listen to music your happiness goes 10 steps higher but if you're sad and you listen to sad songs of course it's going to increase your sadness and that's this is going to be even worse than what you think so screw it don't listen to sad songs and all all right and uh, the fourth or the last important point that we should not do is really important is about uh, blocking the uh, person from social media from phone numbers everything we we do it quite often I mean even when we don't like really someone or when we really feel that i don't need this person in my life anymore what we do is first thing go ahead and delete the number then uh, block in whatsapp block in instagram block in facebook uh, snapchat uh, what else do you have everything you block them and you say okay i've deleted everything and i'm going to forget i'm going to forget this p- person and that's really not going to help you even this person who i told you uh, when i started the podcast a friend who is in mumbai he said uh, i'm trying to forget this lady i can't 
I, I, I just can't forget this lady. I was with her for six years and I don't know what to do now. And I told them, see, uh, buddy, it's not required to forget them. You were with this lady. You were, you know who is this lady. You, were, you loved her with all your heart. And how do you think you will forget? It's never going to happen. So what else do I have to do? It's a question. You have to forgive them. You, ha- you need to learn to forgive the person with all your heart. So don't block them and don't try to totally, you know, cut off this person and then negate everything. That's not never going to help you. So what else do we do is to let them go. Let them go. <laughs> right? So let them go. If, if it's truly, 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 really true, they're going to come back with you, come back to you, or uh, you, you learn to forgive them. Right? So forgiving is the best way of uh, healing the love pain of love okay so this is this are the, some of the things that you should never do right so to summarize don't take major des, major decisions do not isolate yourself don't listen to sad songs don't delete them don't block them don't go to the gym those are some some things that you should never do now let's talk about what we can do so this helped me and people uh, i've spoken with and people who i have um, my friends i've seen this helping them so i'm going to share some of the tips that can help people right so first thing is to write down what do we feel write down what i feel when i say that i mean when you sit down take a paper and put your feelings into words into papers that actually is a great healing that's a healing technique that's how you realize and understand what you are really feeling when you ask someone see i'm depressed what do they say what do you mean depressed when we ask them what do you mean depressed they say uh, i don't know i'm just depressed or when you really ask them to explain what do you mean by depressed they don't have answer for that so it's recommended when you take a paper and uh, sit down and put your feelings into words you start to heal yourself because you try to understand what you feel that's that's exactly what we are trying to say so write it down write down what you feel next thing is to find your hobbies spend time on what you really love see before you find someone who you really like you are doing something right before you find uh, the love of your life and all you you might be doing something maybe you are uh, good in painting maybe you're good at writing maybe you're good at uh, singing right uh, so go back and find that hobby and spend some more time with that so that can help you as well and uh, the third thing is take care of your family so how many of us uh, when we're really sad we try to uh, isolate a family right never do that your family is the core essence of who you are so when you go through feelings like this it's it's very 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 recommended that you be around with your family be with your mom be with your dad be with your sister tell them that you know hey my sister or my uh, brother hey this is what has happened i really feel uh, bad and i just need some help just be around well let's just uh, hang out somewhere so be with your family family is the best way to uh, heal yourself and if um, there are a few cases where uh, family is the reason for breakup and that's a different story we're not going to talk about that and let's let's skip that okay so finally uh, use your pain that that's triggered as a fuel for your passion so that can help you to find your passion and do what you really want out of life so um, i strongly feel or believe that life is a big journey and you're going to meet hundreds and thousands of people in your life so um, instead of being a person who don't want to love anyone be a source of love when people approaches you you be a source of love be a source of inspiration be a source of motivation that can help you to um, grow more and see life in a bigger perspective so this universe is full of abundance i keep saying this the universe has uh, everything in abundance uh, look at it uh, look at the water that we have in the in in the earth or look at the air look at this, uh, this the land mass that we have everything in the world is abundance so you are a part of abundance don't look yourself as a small piece i i remember rumi's quote rumi the persian poet who says that shine like the whole universe is yours so you are the universe so i want you to shine like the universe and the rest rest is going to be all taken care so thank you so much for watching uh sorry thank you so much for listening to this uh, podcast if you really like this podcast i'd like you to send this to your friends or your family to make them understand there is this guy who keeps talking all the time <laughs> thank you i'll see you later bye for now